Welcome to hardatengineer.com. I am Varun Patel. In this video, you will learn about different types and mechanism of ball wall. You will learn those things that are missing in animation video. Please subscribe to my channel because that helps me to increase my reach on YouTube and you will get notification of new video. You can subscribe right now by just clicking subscribe button which is on the corner of your screen. The ball wall like the one shown in this slide is a positive shut off wall. Operating mechanism of the ball wall is very simple. By just rotating the lever by 90 degrees which is connected with the ball type disc through steam, this wall can be fully closed or open. That is why it is called a quarter turn rotary motion wall. The ball wall is like a plug wall in operation. The small size ball wall can be operated by lever. However, for the large size wall, you may need a gear mechanism to operate the wall easily. Some degree of throttling is possible with a ball wall, but it is not recommended as it may damage the seat and ball. When fully open, the pressure drop across the wall is negligible. On this slide, you can see the cross section of the ball wall. This is split body side entry wall. Here you can see that the body is smaller than the gat and globe wall. The disc is in ball shape. That is why it is called ball wall. There are two seats, one in upstream and the other in downstream. Unlike the gat and globe wall, Seat will always remain in the contact with ball type seat. The cavity inside the ball type disc will let the fluid pass from the wall. On this slide, you can see the different types of ball wall based on the body design. The ball wall comes in so many designs. Different types of body, different types of port and seats and many more. The first one is the top entry ball wall. Here you can see that the ball is inserted from the top of the wall body. This design makes it possible to repair a wall without removing it from the line. The second and the third type is split body with two parts and three parts arrangement. In the field, you will come across with a ball wall that has a two piece construction more than any other type of ball wall. In this design, the ball is inserted in a big part and the small part is connected by a stud. In the case of three-piece construction, the ball is mounted in the middle part. This type of wall, also known as a side entry or end entry ball wall. If you want to learn more about wall, you can buy my course how to be an expert in piping wall. In this course, I have explained more than 18 types of wall and their subtypes used in process industry. On this slide, you can see the top entry type ball wall. The benefit of this type of wall is that you can repair a wall without removing it from the pipeline. You just have to remove the bonnet and all the wall internals are accessible to you. On this slide, you can see the both top entry and side entry ball wall. Now you can easily understand why the top entry ball wall is maintenance friendly. Can you see the difference between the two type of ball walls I have shown here? Obviously I label them differently. The first one is a floating type ball wall and the second is tunion mounted ball wall. The name itself suggests that in a floating ball wall the disc is floating with fluid. What does it mean? Well, when there is a pressure on upstream of the wall, it will push the ball toward the seat installed in the downstream of the wall. That means your pressure is helping to achieve better shut off. There is a negative side also. You need a high operating torque in high pressure service to operate a wall. On the other hand, in a tunion mounted wall, 
the ball will remain in position irrespective of the fluid pressure. Here valve seats are designed in a such a way that they will always stay in contact with the ball to provide required sealing. You can open this valve easily as compared to floating type but you have to trade off some of the benefits of high sealing. Here you can see the multiport type ball valve. This is a three way valve. The ball valve can be unidirectional, bidirectional or multidirectional as shown here. This type of valve is used as a diverter valve. Depending on your requirements, you can arrange the port of the valve in a three way. One inlet and two distribute, one inlet and one outlet with diverting flow and straight pass with the fluid without no inlet. On this slide, you can see the ball and the seat. Ball wall seats are available in both metallic and non-metallic material. The selection of trim material depends on the service fluid type, pressure and temperature. A ball wall that you use in the fire shelf environment is equipped with metallic seats. Now let's look at the application of the ball wall. The ball wall can be used in air, gaseous and liquid application requiring bubble tight shutoff. It can be used in a low point drains and high point vents. It is also used in the instrument. The ball wall is regularly used in refinery, petrochemical and other process and chemical industries. It is also used in power plant that handle high pressure feed water and steam. So it is a kind of universal use type of wall that gives bubble tight shut off. Here you can see the advantages and disadvantages of using a ball wall. The ball wall is a quick acting type wall that offers bubble tight shut off. It is a smaller and lighter than a gate and globe wall of the same size. Several options with multiport design offer flexibility to choose the best wall for the services. The ball wall can be used in a slurry application. Now let's look at some disadvantages. The ball wall is not designed for throttling. You cannot use this wall for regular throttling as it can damage its disc. If there is a problem with seat, the suspended particle can settle and become a trap in the body cavities causing wear, leakage or wall failure. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please do like and share this video with your friends. If you want to learn more about piping, you can visit my website hardattengineer.com. See you soon. Goodbye. Take care.